few years ago, I did a small, short YouTube video on this rather wonderful little hand cranked generator. Now, I did a lot of research on these and I couldn't really find out an awful lot. I couldn't find out the manufacturer, for example, but it was generally believed that these were made in the UK in the 1950s, possibly in the States, maybe. And they were used in schools and colleges as uh, demonstrations of the principles of electricity. And quite often they would come with a couple of uh, tubular aluminium handles which are connected to the terminals on the generator and the students would hold these terminals and then they crank the handle and they get a mild electric shock. That's what that was all about. But I love these things. I, I think they're, they're amazing. This one was in pretty poor condition when I got it. The base was, um, half of it was missing and it was really, really grubby. And I'll put a link in the description to the original video I did on this. However, <clears throat> just recently, my friend Doug from the YouTube channel Crazy Doug got in touch with me to say, was I aware that on U eBay in the UK, there was a guy selling a whole load of old vintage motors and generators? And I said, no, I wasn't. And he sent me the link, which I'm very grateful for. So I went on to eBay and I bid on a whole load of them and got spectacularly outbid on almost everything, except for one of them, which was a very, very similar hand crank generator. I think you can see this is uh, very, very similar in construction to the uh, original one. The magnet is obviously in a different orientation. It's vertical rather than horizontal. But other than that, it's very, very similar. It has a very similar frame. This part, this part here, as you can see, is very similar to this part here. And very similar uh, windings on the coils. Yeah, so I'm fairly certain it was probably made by the same company although i'm not sure what that company is it's in much better condition than my original one uh, the base on that is fine in fact it it, it was a, apart from being a little dusty it, it, it really was um, in in lovely condition as you can see now this one didn't come with anything attached to the terminals it was just this is exactly as it came but um it, it really is it's in it's in it's in just lovely condition so what we'll do is we'll connect a LED bulb up to it, give it a crank and we'll see if it's actually working. Oh, probably going to have to turn the lights down, otherwise you won't see it. No, let's turn the, turn the, the actual recording lights off. Hopefully it won't go complete. There we go. Nice and dark now, but... You can definitely see the LED. Let's turn this one back on. Yeah, it works a treat. Well, there you go. I just thought you might like to have a look at this. Um, I find these things fascinating. Um, certainly there were, when I was at school, which was hundreds of years ago, we had something similar to this. I don't recall seeing this exact same uh, generator but we had hand crank generators in class um, and um, you, you, this is how they taught you about electricity and uh, you know you actually were allowed to have a small electric shock that was per deemed perfectly acceptable when teaching in schools in those days or of course nowadays that would be you know terrifying so anyway there you go a little hand cranked generator possibly from the 1950s um, Second one I've I've got, which is I'm very grateful to have in my collection. As I said, I, f I find these things uh, amazing. I just thought you'd like to have a quick look at it. So, as always, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. Cheers.